Hi everybody and welcome back to another Zenith Super Duty build video. My name is Mark Pensenstadler. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the plug and play brake line kits available from Aircraft Specialty. This is going to be part one of a two part series. In this video, we're going to install the brake lines that go inside the fuselage. In part two, we'll install the brake lines that go under the fuselage and then down to the actual brake calipers themselves. Aircraft Specialty has two brake line kits available for the Super Duty. The first one is for single brakes. And by single brakes, I mean you just have brakes on the pilot side. They also have another kit available for dual brakes, which is where you have brakes on the pilot side and you also have brake pedals on the passenger or co-pilot side. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the brake line kits for both of those brake systems. First, we're going to install the brake lines for the single brake option. So let's look at that kit from Aircraft Specialty. Now included in the single brake option are four brake lines, six fittings, two bulkhead fittings, two nuts, and four washers. Now if you look at these lines, you're going to notice each one of them has a little tag on it. And on that tag, you'll see a part number, and an example of that is on the screen here. And you'll see on this one here, at the, on, the, on that part number, it has a 10.5. That means that this line is 10.5 inches long. So that's how you can identify which lines are which, or if you need to replace one or something like that. Just look at the little tag that's on each line. The other thing you're gonna notice about these lines it is it has nice, high quality steel fittings on the end. And over the steel braiding, you're not gonna be able to tell on the video, but over the steel braiding, it has a clear plastic, I'm guessing probably like a heat shrink type of uh, tubing over it. So the steel braid on this line, although it's flexible, it's not going to scratch your paint or anything on the interior because of this nice protective plastic coating. So they're very, very nice quality lines. Now virtually everyone that will install brakes in an airplane will want a parking brake. This is the Matco parking brake valve. You can buy this from Matco or your favorite aviation distributor, but it's something that for this installation is required and you're going to need. Now, this will need to be mounted in the airplane, and there are literally a thousand different ways you can do that. What I have done is I've designed this little mount here, which just consists of two angles and a top piece that I bent up. This parking brake valve sits in here, and two bolts goes down to hold it to there. You can see what this looks like before it's riveted together. It's just two L's, which you probably have a lot of anyway. And then this piece here, which I just cut and bent, and it just gets riveted together. Actually, you can do it like this, or I put mine like this. Uh, and you can see it's very simple. And again, there's a thousand different ways you can design a mount to mount your parking brake valve. All right, guys, to get started here, the first thing we're going to do is put some of our fittings into our parking brake valve. So all four of them will go in. And for the purpose of this video, I want you guys to note, first of all, that I'm just putting these in finger tight. Second of all, Matco recommends sealing these fittings with Loctite 567. So again, I'm not putting this on right now just in, for the purpose of the video, and I'm just putting these in finger tight. But just be aware that if you were building yours for real, and later on when I actually put this in as my final installation, I will take all these out, I'll seal them with a the Loctite, and uh, properly install them. So here we go, we have four fittings in our parking brake valve. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take two more of these straight fittings and we're going to install them in the bottom of our brake actuators. And remember, if you're doing this permanently, to go ahead and seal yours up with the Loctite 567. And there we go, they're both installed. Before I really talk about the details of mounting this, I just wanted to give you an overview of what the system looks like. And you can see it's a very, very neat, clean installation. We have our bulkhead fittings that are down here in the fuselage, and I'm gonna talk about the position of those in just a minute. We have our two uh, brake lines with the 90 degree angles. Both of these lines are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one's left and right. We have our parking brake valve, and we have our two other brake lines 
go into their respective brake actuators. Now let's look at this in a little more detail, starting from the back here. These two nuts are on the bulkhead fittings that go below the airplane. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But you might be wondering why are they positioned here instead of up here or here or here? Because the further up we put them, the shorter we could have made these brake lines. And that is true, but I have them positioned here for a reason. And if you are going to use this system, then uh, you're gonna to need to position, them and position these in the same spot. To position these, you'll use the back of this uh, floor panel here as a reference. And you go back nine and three quarters of an inch. Measure from here, go back nine and three quarters of an inch, drill two holes, and you can mount your bulkhead fittings there. If you do that, like I said, then the rest of these lines and parking brake and everything will fit perfectly. So let me show you why I positioned those where I did. Well, we're now under the bottom of the airplane and you can see these bulkhead fittings and you'll notice they faced aft. Both of these will have brake lines that go back to the landing gear and down to the brake calipers. Now, the reason they're positioned here instead of further forward is you'll notice these two stiffeners that they have on the bottom of the fuselage. I positioned these purposely here to be behind these stiffeners. And the reason why is because I'm going to order another stiffener like this from Zenith, and I'm gonna cut it to fit inside here of this channel. And what that will do is just offer a little bit of protection to these bulkhead fittings that are protruding down. Because if you get some, some brush from, if you're landing off airport somewhere, you get some tall grass or something like that, and it's scraping on the bottom of the fuselage, instead of coming back and hitting your bulkhead fittings, it's gonna ride off this little ramp here and then uh, bypass your fittings. So once I put this piece on here, it just offers a little bit of protection for those elbow fittings. Now, as we move up towards the, the firewall or forward in the fuselage, you'll see our parking brake valve positioned here. You do wanna be careful or take note of the orientation of this valve. When you get this valve, you're gonna see one side has these two big silver lugs on here. And that is the outflow side of the parking brake valve. So obviously the outflow will be where the, the fluid is coming back going to the brake. So you want these to face aft. Moving forward from there, we have our two other brake lines. And obviously one is much longer than the other and it's kind of obvious which one goes where. And they just run forward here and connect to your brake actuators. If you want, right up here, and this is what I'm gonna do on mine, right on the corner here, I'll put one of those cushioned Adel clamps or Adel clamps right here to hold those brake lines. Now you also notice our parking brake valve is off center. It's not centered in the middle here. And again, I did that on purpose because when I had the fuel lines routed through here, there's a fuel line that goes right up here and again gets clamped on this side of this nylon bushing that goes up to the firewall. So having this off center leaves room for that fuel line to, to run forward. Now, one of the other things you'll note is I don't have this secured down yet because no matter what kind of mount you design for your parking brake valve, if you start in the back and connect your, your bulkhead fittings to your fuselage and then just connect your, your brake lines like I did, everything will position itself just where it needs to be. So as far as mounting this, brake, this parking brake valve here or forward or aft, it positions itself once you have these brake lines attached. So for in my example, with these holes that I have drilled on the bottom of the mount, now that this is positioned with the brake lines attached, all I have to do is drill the holes in here and then rivet it to the floor. Super easy to do. Well, that's the complete installation of the brake lines for the single brake system from the, uh, the aircraft specialty kit. I'm very happy with the quality of these brake lines. And if you're wondering why I went with steel braided brake lines instead of using the plastic brake line that comes with the Super Duty, it's because you have to consider how this Super Duty is designed to be used. And it is designed to be an off airport Bush airplane. And that's how I intend to use mine. So if I'm landing somewhere short and I need to land and stand on those brakes to get this airplane stopped, I feel much more confident having a good quality steel braided brake line in my airplane than this cheap plastic tubing that comes with a kit. 
So it's, if you're building a Super Duty, just put some thought into your brakes. I think it's well worth the money to replace the plastic tubing with a good quality, very strong brake line that'll last virtually forever. Now on my Super Duty, I wanted brakes on the pilot side and also the passenger side. So I've chosen to install the dual brake system and I'm gonna show you how that's installed next. Now, if you order the dual brake system from Aircraft Specialty, this is what comes with the kit. You'll notice there's a few more of the straight fittings. You still have the two bulkhead fittings, the, the nuts and the washers. Oh, and I forgot to mention before, the reason there's four washers instead of two is because the bottom of the fuselage is pretty thin. And in order to tighten that nut down on here, you're gonna need at least two of those washers. But you'll notice it does come with a few more brake lines. Now, one of the other things you're going to need for the dual brake system. Again, you'll need the same parking brake, but you're going to have to also order from Matco or one of your aviation suppliers, two of these MC4 brake actuators. And again, of course, you'll need your Loctite 567. Now you'll note that installing the dual brake system is really just as easy as a single brake system, but there's just a couple more brake lines. The center here is exactly the same. These two brake lines are the same as a single brake system. We have the same exact parking brake valve. And in my actuators here, I've just gone ahead and installed the blue straight fittings. But you'll notice on the right side of the airplane, the left pedal actuator is facing towards the center of the airplane and the right pedal actuator is facing towards the front of the airplane. Now the next step is to connect the last four brake lines. And I think the easiest way to do this is just to, for me to hook them up and I'll show you how they are connected. The first brake line I've installed is the shortest. And you can see it goes from the left side of the parking brake to the bottom straight fitting on the passenger side left pedal. The second line installed is the one from the right side of the parking brake that goes alongside the back over here to the bottom of the right pedal actuator. This is the line that's 19.5 inches long. Coming around to the other side of the airplane, I have the line installed now that goes from the bottom of the right pedal to the top of the right pedal. That's the other line that has the 90 degree elbow fitting. All right, the last line you'll have to hook up goes from the top of the left pedal here down to the bottom of the left pedal on the left side. And that's it. You now have dual brakes on both sides of the airplane. You have a very nice, neat installation with a parking brake valve. And you've got some good, high-quality lines that you never have to worry about. So I'm really happy with these. I am really glad I went with these steel lines instead of the cheap plastic. These will last virtually forever. All right guys, hopefully this video was helpful in providing a little bit of instruction on how to install these brake line kits from Aircraft Specialty. Now keep in mind, if you want to design your own system and locate your parking brake valve in a different location, that's perfectly fine. All you need to do is provide Aircraft Specialty the length of the lines you need to fit your system and they can custom make them for you. Or if you're building a whole different airplane, like a Rans S21 or a Velocity or a Vans RV, it doesn't matter. Just tell them the length of the lines you need and they can custom make anything you want. All right, coming up probably on the next video, I'm going to show you how to install all of the fuel lines I have from Aircraft Specialty inside the cabin of the Super Duty. So just like the brake line kits they make, they also make a fuel line kit too. So you might wanna order that at the same time. Uh, so again, I'll show you how to install that. It's all plug and play. If you want to install it the same way I'm doing it, all of the lines are measured, cut. It's basically you order them and put them in your airplane. It couldn't get any easier. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, also, give the video a thumbs up. It does help my channel to grow a little bit, and I appreciate it when you guys do that for me. Uh, so we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.